Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? Two years and twelve days. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you grew up on Earth. Tough environment, no parents. You enlisted and led troops during some heavy fighting, most notably on Torfin. Do you remember taking on some Batarian slavers? Those bastards were dug in deep in a fortified bunker. I sent a lot of good soldiers to their deaths. That's how it had to be. You got the job done. That's all that matters. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeyer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility, you had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Lieutenant Caden Elenko was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave him behind? Being in command means that sometimes you give orders knowing that your people are gonna die. That can't affect your decisions. Caden gave his life for the rest of the team. Without him, I couldn't have stopped Saren. He died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. Shepard, think back to the Citadel. After the Council died on the Destiny Ascension, and you killed Saren. What happened next? With the Council dead, humanity stepped into power. We formed a new Council. I recommended Captain Anderson to lead it. Yes, Captain Anderson is now Counselor Anderson. Though from what I hear, he preferred life in the military. Still, good to know that the human Council member isn't going to put politics ahead of defense. Your memory seems solid. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. I wouldn't keep the elusive man waiting. The elusive man is waiting for you. Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. From what I hear, I cost you a fortune. Why'd you do it? For the defense and preservation of humanity. I didn't spend two years and billions of credits bringing you back to serve as a common soldier. But humanity is up against the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory still intact. How are you feeling? I noticed a few upgrades. I hope you didn't replace anything really important. We tried to keep you as intact as possible. We need Shepard. Just as you were when you defeated Sovereign. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. The Alliance is overwhelmed by the responsibility you gave them. They're too busy building relations to put resources into verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier. 
and more convenient. You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. If you're after the Reapers, just point me in the right direction. Miranda was worried you'd be resistant. She's not usually wrong. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them. For now. I'll get what you're looking for and be back before you know it. Good to hear it. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. I can't have anyone disobeying my commands when we get there. I know who I report to. As long as you don't do anything to betray Cerberus, I'll follow your orders. What's the matter, Lawson? Worried you're not his favorite anymore? I've proven my value to the elusive man. Let's hope you're able to do the same. Are you naturally this bitchy, or is it just me? I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, we'd have done a few things differently. What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. Cerberus gave me my body back. That's worth giving them a chance. One chance. But you're still not convinced. Do you trust me, Commander? You're part of Cerberus. I'll be keeping an eye on you, too. Fair enough. I can't expect you to trust me just because I ask you. I'll just have to earn that trust. 
Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. The old council was dead, and humanity took control of the new one. But nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. You said you served in the Alliance? Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. But there was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. That's all for now. Yes, sir.